MV Estonia was loaded in Tallinn through the bow or front loading door. When loading was complete, the ramp was raised and the bow visor was lowered and locked. The ramp was so long that in the raised position its front end reached above the front deck. Therefore, the visor had a so-called ramp housing, inside of which the extended front end of the ramp fitted as raised. The visor was supported by two hinges in the ship, and it was locked by two side locks and one bottom lock. The visor was also connected to the ship by two lifting hydraulic cylinders. During the fatal trip, the rough waves were met by the ship on its port bow, or left front. The load exerted by the waves was mostly taken by the hinges and to a lesser degree by the locks. The exaggerated visor motion shows how the waves tried to move the visor. A strong port bow wave caused the wind side lock to break. The remaining wind side hinge and the bottom lock broke next, and finally, also the lay side hinge and side lock. The waves whipped the visor, and the lifting cylinders started to cut through the front deck. When the visor increasingly leaned forwards, the rear wall of the ramp housing hit the raised front end of the ramp. A moment later, the ramp housing pulled the ramp partly open so that a one meter wide opening formed and the ramp was supported in this partly open position by the visor. At this stage, water started to spray past the ramp onto the car deck. Gradually, the lifting cylinders cut their way completely through the front deck. The visor separated and hit the ship's bulbous bow when falling. When the visor fell, the ramp opened completely. Huge amounts of water started to enter the car deck. Estonia lost her stability, listed rapidly to starboard, and sank, stern first. <laughs>